Tyler from Aspire Sports, and I'm going to give you my top 12 fantasy rankings for the 2021 fantasy football season. Remember, it is very early, so all of this can change. So let's just go ahead and get into the video. If you like this content, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. We make new content, and especially leading up to the draft, there will be videos out daily to help you win your league. This is just for like your standard leagues, like your 10-team, one-quarterback league, 12-team, one-quarterback leagues not two quarterbacks or like a super flex in those leagues obviously you want to treat quarterback differently and draft them earlier but in your regular leagues let's just wait on quarterback so let's just go ahead and get into it and coming in at number 12 for me is going to be matt ryan matt ryan finishes quarterback number 13 overall he wasn't that good this season it was kind of like an up and down year he was missing julio for quite a bit of game so next year hopefully julio gets a little bit better right and stays healthier we'll see if that happens i have my doubts but right now the fantasy pros do have matt ryan as 13. they have joe burrow as 12. now here's why like 12 for me is really hard because I don't really feel that good about putting Matt Ryan there. Now, Matt Ryan could ve have a very good season next year. That's why he's there. But you have guys like Matthew Stafford. Where does he go next year? Joe Burrow, is he really going to be ready for week one? What about Jalen Hurts? Does he start next year? Is he the starting quarterback or does it go back to Carson Wentz? Ben Roethlisberger, does he retire? Like there's a bunch of question marks at number 12. So Matt Ryan is like the safest bet with all these question marks. And then once, once we get closer to the season and everything, we'll be able to really rank them properly. But I do feel good about the top 10, like top 11 guys. So number 12 is going to be Matt Ryan coming in at number 11 is going to be the goat tom brady now i did feel like this was a little low but that's quarterback right quarterback is deep the especially the top 10 if you're like a 10 man league do not draft patrick mahomes in the second round i i mean it's your team if you want to do that then do that but you could get somebody like tom brady later in the draft or the the next couple of guys later in the draft as well so just wait on quarterback get these guys tom brady right now 11 just because father time has to catch up to him sometime right i mean he's playing very well especially in the playoffs right now this year he would he had a lot of good games but then he'd also have like the next week like 10 points so it was kind of like this up and down season right next year does that happen does father time finally catch up to him that's why right now i have him as 11 just because i like the other guys upside of finishing inside like the top five top six quarterbacks so tom brady number 11. Coming in at number 10 is going to be Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill this year finishes quarterback number seven. Last year, he didn't start the season. He started his first game was week six. So week six through week 16, he finished as quarterback number two in those weeks, only behind Lamar Jackson. So somebody who can definitely get it done right now is ranked as quarterback number 10 by the fantasy pros. But I think heading into the draft this upcoming season, he's going to be a little bit unappreciated as he has been. And that's somebody... For me, I will be targeting because I like to wait on quarterback. So I think Ryan Tannehill this upcoming season is going to be a very good value pick at the quarterback position. So Ryan Tannehill, number 10. Coming in at number nine is going to be Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert this year was fantastic, right? Basically one undrafted, unless you're in like a deeper league, he's probably drafted, right? But in most leagues, majority of leagues was not drafted. This is also why you should wait on quarterbacks because somebody like this, you just pick them up off the free agency and hey, you have a top 10 quarterback. If from weeks two through 16, he was quarterback number seven this season. Now, only I have a couple of concerns. Number one, new coaching staff. All right. Number two is that sophomore slump. A lot of these rookie quarterbacks have that sophomore year where it's a little bit down. So you have a new system plus that. I, I am a little concerned, but with him right now, number nine, I feel good about that. I would take him in my drafts. I'd probably lean Tannehill rather than him, just because Tannehill is probably going to go a little bit later. But Justin Herbert, number nine. Coming in at number eight is going to be Aaron Rodgers. Now, this does feel a little too low, but once again, quarterback is just very deep. So number eight, you have one of the greatest of all time this year finished as quarterback number four but it was his first year finishing inside the top five since 2016 so he's been in the top 10 but not the top five does he repeat it next year he certainly can has the best wide receiver in the nfl but he is going to be 38 years old now i'm not saying he's going to all of a sudden slow down but he could slow down a tiny bit and it's going to make him fall in this range that's why i like taking him here just because 
I don't think he I think he's going to go probably a little bit earlier due to season this year and I'd rather have the next guys coming up than him and you're probably going to get them a little bit later so right now Aaron Rodgers number eight coming in at quarterback number seven is going to be Russell Wilson Russell Wilson this year finishes quarterback number six and it was basically like a tale of two halves right first half of the season he was quarterback number one second half of the season was quarterback number nine now right now the fantasy pros have him as quarterback number eight for me i just like him a little bit more than aaron Rodgers because number one he's younger number two can get more done with his legs right so this this offseason they've already fired their oc just because they didn't like how they were running the ball they didn't necessarily say that they wanted to run the ball more they just wanted to run p carroll said they wanted to run more effectively they still want Russ to cook according to the beat reporters coming out of seattle so i still like him a lot with a full off season with dk i think there's the chemistry is going to get better dk is going to continue to grow as a wide receiver and the sky's the limit for these two we've already seen russell wilson finish as quarterback number one in fantasy before and i think he can do that again now do i think he can do it next year no but do i think he can finish inside the top five certainly so russell wilson number seven and coming in at quarterback number six is going to be dak prescott now this is me assuming he's going to be back in dallas now if he doesn't go back to dallas and he goes elsewhere then obviously i will adjust this accordingly but right now him going back to dallas that offense has so many weapons around him right now so many weapons in the first four weeks of the season he was quarterback number three quarterback number three in fantasy football do i think he can do that next year yes i do especially if reports come back that he's fine he's ready to go i'm not concerned about the ankle the only concern i have a little bit is the offensive line it is getting older they've had some people retire so there is a little concern there but he was quarterback number three and yes it is a small sample size but still quarterback number three in the first four weeks I would feel good about him as a six quarterback off of the board. And I think he might be a little bit lower than that. So Dak Prescott, number six. Coming in at number five is going to be Deshaun Watson. Deshaun Watson is the only quarterback the past three years in fantasy football to finish inside the top five each year. So he's super consistent. The only concern is where does he go? Is he going to stay with Houston? Does he go to the New York Jets, which reportedly that's where he wants to go? And if that's the case, I don't like him that much unless they get like Allen Robinson. Some people say, well, they'll probably get Allen Robinson. That'd be cool. Yeah, I would definitely like him then. But if he has that receiving core, sure, Jamison Crowder is okay, but he plays like eight games, right? You have Rashad Perryman on the outside. I don't know about that. And Mims. It's, it's not as good as Will Fuller and Brandon Cooks. I'm telling you that right now. But I still like Deshaun right here. We'll see what happens with him. And of course, very early rankings would adjust. But he's super consistent. Very good. Is a superstar quarterback. Deshaun Watson, number five. Coming in at number four is going to be Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson this year was very disappointing if you drafted him in like the first or second round. In a couple of my drafts, I've seen, I saw him drafted in the first round, and that wasn't like a two quarterback or super flex league. This is why you don't draft quarterbacks that early, okay? He ended up finishing as quarterback number eight. He ended the season really well, but to start the season, he was very disappointing, especially because he was drafted so high. This year though, I do like him for where he's probably gonna go. He's probably gonna go in the middle rounds. That's much better for him, and I feel much more comfortable taking him there rather than like the second or third round. So Lamar Jackson, we've already seen it. We've seen what his ceiling is. He's incredibly talented as a runner, and this team is built to run the football. They are missing some offensive linemen this year. We'll get them back healthy next year so lamar jackson number four i would love to have him in the middle rounds in at quarterback number three is going to be kyler murray and i had a hard time not putting him at number one i think kyler murray can finish as the number one quarterback next year he was on that pace but he ended up getting hurt against seattle the second game so right here second game against seattle hurts his shoulders and then you can see hurts his shoulder his throwing shoulder and then you can see what the remainder of the games were they weren't very good now sure the competition got a little bit harder but his shoulder was not right and you could tell he wasn't running the ball as much anymore he wasn't as efficient as a passer now the defense did get harder but he also did not look right with his shoulder so i think he has potential to finish as the quarterback number one he was on pace this year until he got hurt so if you can get him as the third quarterback off the board i do think that's pretty good value 
for where he should have placed this year. So Kyler Murray, number three. Coming in at quarterback number two is going to be Josh Allen. This year finishes quarterback number one, and he took a massive step in the right direction. Only thing is, is that quarterbacks, the quarterback that finished number one in fantasy football has never repeated since 2010, okay? So they've never been the number one quarterback again. So I don't think he's going to be the number one quarterback next year, but I still really do like him. He's going to, number one, improve on his chemistry with these wide receivers, Stefan Diggs, Gabe Davis. He's only going to get better. He's a rookie. This offense should be very, very good heading into next season. Maybe one more playmaker on offense, maybe run the ball a little bit more efficiently. But 2018, he had eight rushing touchdowns. 2019, nine rushing touchdowns. This year, eight rushing touchdowns. So basically averaging eight rushing touchdowns. Dude's a stud. Up this passing game a lot this year. So Josh Allen number two coming in at quarterback number one is going to be patrick mahomes no surprise right patrick mahomes best quarterback in the nfl right now it's a damn cheat code this offense is just ridiculous so i think he has the safest shot as definitely finishing inside the top five top three barring injury so he's the safe bet patrick mahomes number one and that does it if you disagree with anybody i said or you think i'm missing somebody go ahead and include it in the comments below Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Really appreciate it. So thank you and have a great day.